This is the Sound Science Rockus 3D. This is a 2.1 speaker system with a twist, okay? So let's start with the outside of the box and then I'll get into a little bit more detail about what is unique about the Rockus. So here, oh, we actually find absolutely no information whatsoever. Okay, moving around to the other side, we will find absolutely no information whatsoever except for a small sticker that says it is the Sound Science Rockus. So I'm gonna go ahead Get my knife out here and let's get this baby open and show you guys what is going down in plain empty cardboard box town. And last one. There we are. Ah, we have a retail box in there. I could have actually started the unboxing with the proper retail box rather than this. Well, I didn't know. Cameraman's giving me that look. It's like, how was I supposed to know? Okay, there we go. Now we're going to learn about features and basically what it looks like. So it's a speaker system. Okay, if a 2.1 didn't give that away before, then uh, you might as well unsubscribe to the channel now because there's no hope for you. Um, specifications, here we go. 2.1, 5.7 inch satellite speakers. We've got a 13.8 inch subwoofer. Oh no, hold on. 13.8 inch height subwoofer with a 6.5 inch diameter subwoofer uh, driver. Okay, we've got a total weight of 8.5 kilograms. Output is 150 watts. That is 25 watts each to the satellites and 100 watts to the sub. And what all do we have here? Okay, here's some specs in terms of how you hook it up. So it actually features optical audio input as well as 3.5 millimeter and RCA. So it has digital audio input. These are digital speakers, which is pretty cool. Here we've got some little buttons. So we got 3D mode. Oh, I gave, I gave away the twist. Okay, we'll talk more about 3D mode later. Don't look at that yet. Okay, then we've got the remote control to switch between 3D and music. Ah, oh, we're talking about 3D again. Okay, music mode is for high fidelity music and 3D mode is for 3D technology. Okay, it's for movies and games. That's what they're saying. Okay, we'll talk about it more later, more later. Okay, let's start getting this opened up. Cameraman can go amuse himself by looking at that while I break the seals on this side of the box and get closer to the actual meat and potatoes of this unboxing. That is the part where we remove the box. Cameraman says, stop talking. Did I break it? Oh no, it's okay. Whew. That was close. Okay, guys. So when you are opening the raucous, be very careful. Uh, we appreciate very much Sound Science's method of packing the raucous with nice thick styrofoam. So when you drop your subwoofer by accident, it will actually land on a perfectly shaped piece of styrofoam that will prevent it from being damaged. So the first thing we find inside the box is the subwoofer itself. So we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. There we are. Oh, no, we got another. There we are. So it has uh, a pretty typical sort of speaker finish on it. That is, it's very matte black. Actually feels quite nice and looks very, very durable. Okay, just gonna flip this over so you guys can see it better. So it's a, not a very huge subwoofer by any stretch of the imagination and it looks like it actually has a little instruction sheet attached to it. How to use the Sound Science Rocket speaker system. So it shows you how to turn it on, how to uh, do some troubleshooting stuff, how to connect the, uh, an optical device. Okay, here it comes with, uh, okay, so there's a connector for the uh, control pod. Okay, so you'll plug that in here. Uh, you've also got uh, a three position switch for base level. There's your digital optical audio input. Sorry about that, guys. Then we've got our analog connectors, both uh, RCA as well as 3.5 auxiliary. Then we have our connectors to the speaker, so it looks like we're using standard speaker wire, but there's only one way to find out for sure. And then we've got an on-off switch as well as a power cord. That is a built-in power cord. So then let's have a look at what we've got in terms of accessories. So here we have RCA cables. So those are RCA to speaker wire cables. Really? Okay. Okay, well, we'll have a closer look at that in a minute. Okay, then we have RCA to headphone jack. Okay. Next, we have just headphone jack to headphone jack. So this is the one that you're likely to use to connect to your PC. Okay. Then we have the satellite speakers themselves. So we're just going to take out one of them to show you guys. Actually, we'll take out them both. 
Okay, so there you go. It comes with uh, protective film on the front of the speakers because they are quite shiny indeed. There we are. Very neat, uh, very different shape for these speakers. I haven't seen anything like that before them. Very stylish looking. Okay, so there's the other one. And then we've got our little control pod. So this is how we can switch to between 3D mode, music mode. Okay, we've also got a volume control as well as a mute control. Okay, and it looks like that is it for what is included inside the box. So the speakers are connected to the back of the subwoofer right here via this cable. So we actually use an RCA connection at the back of the speakers themselves. See? And then we use speaker wire to connect into the subwoofer. So you can see here, we've got... Sorry guys. With big items, it's always challenging to do a, a quick unboxing because... There we are. Aha! There. Okay. So here we've got this labeled white, so that'll go ahead and go into the, oh, really? Okay, well, I guess there's no particular rhyme or reason to the labels. So you just plug these in, and then you go ahead and plug them into wherever it is that you happen to have them positioned. So that can be the left one. Okay, so that's our left speaker. And then we also have a right speaker. And that one will plug in like that, and go into the other side instead. Okay, and then all you have to do is plug in your control pod. There we are, make sure those are in there nice and good. Then you plug in your control pod, plug in your selected audio input, turn it on and enjoy the sound. So the 3D mode, I've actually seen a demo of it. It is pretty cool. The way it works is it uses the subtle differences in timing of the delivery of the sound to create a 3D sounding effect out of two speakers. So it's kind of similar to how some of the uh, some of the headphones that have virtual 3D modes work, except this is a desktop speaker that features that technology. So that's pretty much it for the Ruckus 3D. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. I've actually got one more thing. The speakers are made of anodized aluminum and the subwoofer is an active subwoofer with a passive radiator. So there's no annoying fan sound coming out of the subwoofer.